Okay, that's the word coming in from prestige estates and how things are shaping up with their business amidst the lockdown. Let's also now uh, chat with Bajaj Alliance and get a sense of what's happening with motor and health insurance. Uh, because remember, the renewals uh, till April 21st are bound to get impacted. Uh, whether there is any rise in health insurance claims that they've already seen, it's good to get a status check on all of that. So let's uh, welcome on board right now Tapan Singhal, the MD and CEO of Bajaj Alliance uh, General Insurance, joining us on the show right now. Tapan, hi, morning. Good to have you on the show. Help us understand how significant has been the impact on the premium coll collection amidst the... COVID pandemic for you? So, very good morning. I think um, if I uh, look at our uh, business uh, currently in the lockdown, we have issued close to uh, 11 lakh policies and settled about uh, uh, six and a half lakh uh, claims. So, fundamentally, if I uh, look at uh, our company as a whole, uh, because of our distillation, we have been able to work from home and service our customers um, good. If I look at the premium collection, uh, there would be a fall in the retail lines of business at about 20-25% uh, of the premium collection which would be there. I think that was predominantly because people would be waiting for the lockdown to get over. But 75% uh, of the business is still coming to us, uh, which is a good sign. And the best part which I'm happy about is that we're able to serve our customers in these times of needs also and uh, working from home, keeping all the social distancing norms the government has asked to do so. Okay. Uh, is it all smooth sailing or are you facing any challenges uh, uh, dealing with customers and, you know, catering to their needs at this time of work from home? See, if you, if you look at it, you know, way back also, uh, one of our ambitions was that how can we serve our customers uh, remotely, distally, and within 10 minutes of an incident happening in the retail part of it. So we look at our uh, beta motor uh, claim or, or a health claim. We have enough provision which the customer can um, click uh, pictures, upload, or we have direct link with the hospital with white cashless. From that perspective, I don't, uh, I've not received uh, uh, any grievance in terms of servicing of a customer from that perspective. So that has been good part. I think uh, distillation has played out very well and is being there for the customer, which is actually working out well. As I told you, the lockdown period, we already settled over six and a half lakh claims, you know, which, is, uh, which is like uh, business as usual. Sure. Uh, there have been relaxation in premium payments as well for policyholders. That's what we're understanding. How much extra time have you granted them at your end? And what kind of further relaxations are you mulling if indeed the lockdown does get extended? Okay, let's understand uh, uh, first and foremost uh, what exactly is the relaxation that we are talking about. What the regulator has said is, and especially for two policies, uh, one is the motor third party, and second is health, you know, because motor third party is mandatory in India. Everybody has to have a cover. So what the regulator has said that if the cover was, renewal was due in the lockdown period, then they have an extension to 21st that if they pay the policy, then the cover will start again from the time when the renewal was due and the benefit will be continued on that basis. So we have a health, a break in health insurance actually can lead to um, exclusions in terms of trickling off of pre-existing. So again, there also, what the regulator said is that till 21st, if you deposit the money, then your premium shall be taken into consideration from the time uh, your renewal is due. So one is not extension of policies. It is just that the benefit of the policy shall continue if you pay within 20, uh, uh, like I said, the 21st of April. So that is one which is necessary, but these are only two policies where you have the requirement. But if I look at it today, if I look at the uh, way customers are paying using uh, digital uh, mode, the way online transactions are happening, uh, customers who want to pay their premium today also for any insurance company, they go to the website, there's enough digital means of paying premium and renewals are getting done. So I don't think that's a hindrance. And that's what we also noticed, as I mentioned to you, that over 10 lakh policies were already issued. And for some customers who can't, then they can pay up 21st and they get the continuity benefit. Uh, which is good in a way because these two policies require this. More than that, I don't think that no, any policy requires. If I look at the corporate business, all the renewals have happened. If I look at the major business which is there, those renewals have happened. So it's not an issue there. The issue was in these two retail policies where the regulator has come out with dispensation for the customer. Yeah, and I'm glad you're making that clarity, you know, given that uh, motor insurance constitutes to 40% of your revenues, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, Motor, uh, for the industry, is 40% of the revenue for the industry is there, which is a significant amount of business. And health would be about 25%. So put together, I think, 65 to 70% of the business for the industry comes from motor and health. And that is why for these two, uh, the dispensation by the regulator is a welcome step uh, if somebody is in difficulty. But having said that, it's very easy to pay online. So why wait for the last moment and have a rush at the last moment? No, and, and if there's a fallout between that, uh, when you can do it comfortably from your home. And as it is for everything, right, from e-commerce to and digital payments, payments are happening. And I'm sure all companies would have uh, linkage for digital uh, payments, at least for Bajanians, I can speak comfortably that any mode of uh, payment that you have on your uh, system, you can use that for paying uh, premium here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but tell me, has there been a rise in health claims? Uh, not yet as such, no. So if I uh, look at it, uh, as of now, it is not there's a sudden uh, peak in and the health claim as such, um, uh, the flow is uh, more or less uh, similar. Even COVID cases are very few right now, which has come as claim. Uh, Tapan, good to have you on the show and thanks so much for uh, candidly speaking with us about what really is the status when it comes to health as well as both motor insurance as well. That's the